So let us begin with Tiao and Go. These are the two most commonly used techniques in any given piece. Tiao is index finger forward, whereas Go is middle finger inward. Tiao sounds like it says it's index finger forward, but it sounds more like as if it's your thumb pushes on the belly of your index finger and then push the index finger forward, while your middle finger or ring finger holds onto another string for balance and then you push forward but do not push on the string but just graze over it. These are the essentials to a good tiao play. The sound should be brisk and clear. A go is the commonly recognized opposite movement from a tiao but not using the same finger using your other finger and moving in an inward direction towards the uh, joints of your finger. Your middle finger should always uh, remain mostly straight with a natural curve and when you move, your whole finger should be moving from the base joint. Do not move from the joint in the middle. In the first two notes, we can uh, see that uh, for the seventh string, there is a grass radical, if you're familiar with Chinese, on top of it. This is actually uh, the first three strokes for the Chinese character, san, or broken, or open strings. So uh, this basically means that your left hand has got nothing to do with that string while you pluck with your right hand. So in the first line, we see uh, open string 7 and then thumb position on 9 at 4th string. We can see that the thumb is used for pressing. This thumb later slides up to positions. So to press down, you need to press down completely onto the board using the section that is between your flesh and your nail. Try doing this motion and relax all your muscles on your, the rest of your hand. Because if you use pressure and press down with your entire hand, this muscle here will tend to pull. But instead, keep a round cut opening to uh, maintain the kind of uh, flexibility and make sure that you're able to slide gracefully as a result. For sliding, we can see in this symbol here, it says literally shang 7.6 or uh, go up 7.6 and then go up to 7. Well, quite literally, you do go up along the instrument by pressing down onto the board firmly and then sliding onto it without releasing it for one point in time. So uh, that is pretty straightforward. With the techniques that we have learned, remember to play firmly. Move up one set, back down. Repeat again, but slide up to 7.6, stop for a bit, and then go up to 7. Pause. And then we start hearing some variations. Try to practice these for your right hand so that uh, they get uh, efficient and you do not mess up. Don't substitute fingers with uh, other fingers. The third line is where we start seeing some new techniques and some uh, techniques that are not discussed on the score itself. For example, the first three notes in uh, this third line denotes a uh, left hand position and then nothing else after that. And since we know assume previous, 
it means that we have to use the thumb to press on all of these three strings, four, five, and six. So what we do here is press down on string four while covering your other strings, or get ready to cover it with your thumb. And then as you pluck, you have to uh, change the uh, position via your wrist, and then press down on a different string respectively while releasing the one before. This is called barring in English. Just then, when you hear the double six, you hear the uh, you first see the T movement. The symbol for T is shown below, like so. Barring will first be uh, pretty uncomfortable for the beginner to learn, as well uh, it is quite common for uh, you to not be able to press down fully because uh, you cannot find the hard spot on your uh, thumb to press down on the onto the board firmly. Therefore, it is important to remember that your thumb must be entirely perpendicular from the board and uh, find the hard bones on your thumb to press down firmly. If you can't do it, remember that your string is uh, not completely rigid and you can push forward or back so that you can adjust your thumb to find the hard spot and then press down on the, the next string accordingly. Next, when we see the uh, fu symbol or the recover symbol, it is also pretty straightforward. You go up to 7.6 and then you return back to wherever you came from, which is position 9, as previously mentioned. And then after that, we see the symbol jia xi, which means to pick up. This uh, symbol, usually shown in a set with a left hand position, on a different finger, means that you first press down with that indicated finger on that indicated position, which we see as ring finger position 10, press down on the same string on that position, and then using uh, your thumb, you pull back on the string a little, and then you pull up on it, causing one sound. It's okay if uh, it doesn't sound loud at first. The uh, more callus you have on your thumb will actually improve the sound as you go along. So don't be afraid if it sounds weak at first. But it is important to uh, try to hook up that string but not have a kind of uh, smacking sound. So it, the sound should be pure. The next few lines are also pretty straightforward until we see in the uh, second last line we can see uh, a similar technique with your left hand position uh, 10 with your ring finger which is also barring. For this one we uh, do a similar technique by laying your ring finger flat perpendicular with the uh, face board and then you rotate uh, your hand by lowering your wrist and then pressing on the strings respect respectively when you pluck it. And then, when you press down on uh, the thumb, you need to uh, go down as you pluck, so it has to be perfectly synchronized. If you want to go ahead uh, with the next sound, it is probably wise to use a different part of your thumb so that you can go on directly to the next string. By grasping all these techniques you and some uh, thorough practicing of the entire piece line by line and then later the whole piece all together, you should be able to master basic techniques of tiao, go, ti, pressing with your left hand's uh, thumb and ring finger, as well as some basic sliding. Again, refer to the tuning video if you are uncertain and always remember that you are always sitting somewhat uh, diagonal from the instrument and it is important to uh, not be caught in the trap of uh, mistaking 
a certain position for uh, not matching because you are looking at it and then uh, you think that it is not in the right pos it is uh, in the right position when it is not. Remember that you're looking diagonally, and sometimes you could be off when you uh, look at it when it's uh, you think it should be, but it's not.